Hello people of YouTube, my name's Chris and I'm here today to show off a couple of bits of Lego we got. Um, a friend of mine approached me a while back, said he'd got um, a few bits of Lego and he knew we collected it and would we be interested. Um, I said well what have you got? He said well I've got a train, but it's in a box. He says, I don't know if it's all there, but most of it looks like it is. A few bits of track and um, he said some instructions for a, a fire station. He said, I don't know what's there, he said, but most of the train looks like it's there. Now, I said, well, have you got a number for it? Is there any number on the box? So he said, number 182. So I had a look, and I noticed they go for about £120 on Britling, complete, and I thought, well, I don't know what I'm getting, so I said to him, well, I'll tell you what, I'll take the train and the fire station, whatever bit you've got, um, how much do you want for it? He said, well, just make me an offer. And I thought, well, if the train's there, and he's got all the bits that it needs, you know, I said to him, well, I'll give you £50. Um, I hadn't seen it at this point and I just offered him £50 and he said, and he said well ok yeah that's that's good by me he said are you sure? I said yeah he said ok, he said well I'll have a dig through my mum's loft because they're moving and they need the stuff gone he said and if there's anything else he said, I'll just chuck it with you I said ok and he turned up with the train as said in the box set number 182 And the box is a bit battered, but I'm not one for boxes anyway. And um, and I thought, ah, there's nothing in it. But it was the box. And then you give me this bit. Now all this, I'll we'll get to the train, really. Really give me. So there's the front part of the cab. With the battery box. There's all the bits, as you can see. All this. And there's other bits as well that obviously these are uh, filthy have been in the loft. But there's a box full of parts and there's like basically just loads of different parts all shoved in a box. And he said I don't know what's there so I can't tell you if it works. The last time I played it was when I was a kid. He said, I remember having it for my 10th birthday, so it was a long while ago. But there's all bits that uh, accompany that. But then he surprised me because I knew that I was going to be getting a fire station as well. Well, part of a fire station. He said there was some instructions and a few other bits. But he signed up with this. Set 5075. It's come out in 1987. The spare battery box. And he said he can't remember why he had it. Whether he's one packed in or whether it was just a spare. But he remember, He said, but that was with the this stuff as well and I was like oh well it's always good to have a spare battery box for that I don't own any 4.5 trains until this one I wanted to get one and this is the one I was looking at so it's a bit of a bonus but then he come up with 7816 which is from 1980 and this is the shell tanker it is missing a few of the parts I know it's missing like the stickers and a few other bits and pieces 
but generally, you know, most of it is there. Well, um, it's boxed and it needs a good clean, but it's another old vintage set that can get made up. So there's that one. And then he gave me a box full of bits like this. And when I say a box, there's 157, another 157, 156, one five five one five four and seven eight five two all of them have got the pieces in so there was a load of track a lot more than what I actually thought so for 50 pounds I didn't think I was getting a bad deal with the stuff for the fire station as well. So we've got the instructions. These are the instructions he'd got. Set number 7382, which was a 1981 set. Now I like my old vintage Lego. I don't have a lot of it, but I do like it. And it got the base plate, which is all in good condition bit grubby but like I said it's been sat in the loft for years but when you come to actually find out what we've got for the fire station not a lot there is a minifig I don't know if you're going to pick it up with the camera focuses there we go There's a base to a vehicle, which doesn't look like it is any of them vehicles because of the wrong wheels. There's the part for the garage roof, There's a couple of bits of the garage in there. But other than that, there isn't really any of a fire station, apart from the instructions, which was a shame. But for £50, I don't think we did too bad. Especially when I start showing you some of the other stuff I got. Now this is a surprise to me. I've had this stuff for a while and I've not gone through it. I've been through that stuff there, but it gave me another two boxes. Now I purposely haven't gone through it because I wanted to wait until we moved house, which we've done now. And also the um, we wanted to wait till we got the Lego room sorted because otherwise I'm a bugger and I start going through all the stuff. So um, but we've got the tables. I'll show you now. You have to excuse the mess. It's still in the process, but we have the tables. So this should be the first table. It goes up to the back of the room, and that'll be three base plates wide along all the back there to this bit which is four base plates and it goes right down to the wall and it's a complete mess at our house at the minute because we're having um, some bathroom stuff done um, having a new bathroom put in but <coughs> we are going to be doing this I've got a couple of uh, videos to come out uh, to make even regarding some new stuff we've had you might have just seen it at the Lego Hospital um, but I purposely didn't go through this because I wanted to do it at the same time as I go through stuff a friend of mine um, Andrew he runs a YouTube channel he's what inspired me to start well, my own I'm not overly confident but seeing if he can do it and he has the confidence to do it then I thought I'd give it a go myself um, his channel's the Bricknut 30 I'll put a link into the uh, 
description so you'll be able to see that uh, he's, some of his set reviews are great um, and his city is much bigger than mine and some of his vintage Lego is are awesome you, you have to check out his channel anyway um, but yeah I purposely haven't gone through I told him that I'd got some stuff and we, I said I'd go through what I've got it's killed me not going through it, but we don't know what I've got in here, but we'll start going through. Now, he handed me all the stuff, it's pretty much boxed up. And he said most of it is where it's supposed to be. So we've got, this is 6450. That's what's in this bag. All the instructions look like they're in the bags as well, on most of them. So this is... Missing a couple of stickers, but I don't know whether the light thing doesn't feel like it's got batteries in it. What he does have all the little pieces. Uh, that's one. Set number 6450, and I'm just destroying it. I'll put the instructions to one side because I'll go through that. Um, there's another police one. This one looks a bit newer. 6676. Again, the instructions. This one still has all the stickers intact. If you want to see any more detail on these, this one's missing a few bits and pieces by look of it. But if you want to see any more details, oh no, it's not they're inside, sorry, I do. I didn't realise they're inside. Yeah, if you leave in the comments and uh, I don't mind going in a bit more detail or showing them a bit more. Uh, I don't know what this one is, this one hasn't got any set numbers so if you know what the set numbers to these are there's a I thought that was part of a train set but it's not, it's a car on the back and there's a motorbike so I don't know what they are but they are Included with all this stuff. Oh, actually, looking at this, that I've just found now, I think I may be wrong. This one is 6505. It's got odd wheels. So they're not the proper wheels, but this one. Ah. Is 6643. I thought they were part of the fire station. I'm wrong. I didn't see the other instruction set behind it. I got all excited and I thought I found the vehicles to the fire station. Some of the old stuff. And now I'm excited because I have just found the vehicles for the fire station. So they're not lost. They were just bagged up separately. So the fire station vehicles are there. Bonus. So it's pretty much just a building that we're missing. Uh, can't see any instructions with this one. But it's the sea rescue helicopter I think. And There's a load of rotor bits. 
I'm guessing they'll all lock that up. They look like it, to be honest. We'll throw them in there for now. It's quite a long video, this one, because there's quite a lot to get through. But hopefully it won't all be so long. This is 6632 and little please pick up and it comes with the little bits for the back. There's still quite a lot to get through so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this video here and I'll call this part one and I'll carry on with the rest of the stuff in part two so I'll upload that after this part that way if you don't want to see the vintage sets um, obviously you don't have to and you can just skip over it but this is my first video uh, not the best I don't doubt that that's the case but I'm new to it all so give me a thumbs up um, like and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Um, 